There are creatures in nature that are immune to the misery of lost teeth. Sharks. In a single lifetime, these prolific hunters can regrow up to 50,000 new teeth, each as lethal as the last. And unlocking the secrets of this amazing ability could soon make Joyce's problem a thing of the past. In the UK, Dr. Gareth Fraser and his team at Sheffield University believe that we are closer than you might think to making this a reality. Humans have two sets of teeth. You have a milk set and a permanent set of teeth. The difference between sharks and humans is that humans only make the second set. They never make a third, fourth, fifth. And behind that, you have the newly developing teeth. And so what happens when those teeth develop, they move into position and in a conveyor belt-like way, they sort of stepwise make their way up and over the jaw to become functional. Shark teeth and human teeth are incredibly similar. So sharks and humans actually share the same genes that make teeth. The only difference is that sharks continue to make those teeth using those, those same cells with the same genes, whereas humans have silenced some of those genes. Those genes have been switched off, and so we don't continue to make teeth in that way. So the ultimate aim of our research is to try and figure out whether we can turn those cells on in, in humans to reactivate the process of tooth regeneration. It sounds like science fiction, but in the future, we may be able to regenerate our teeth just like sharks. Imagine a world where a trip to the dentist involves a quick injection into the gum of a recently lost tooth. A week later, you awake to find the beginnings of a brand new tooth growing in its place. Reawakening this gene for tooth regeneration could soon become a reality with a radical science known as gene editing. In the United States, biochemist Dr. George Church is one of the world leaders in gene editing and a process called CRISPR which could soon allow us to completely rewrite our own DNA. This is DNA, right? So it's a beautiful molecule, and from it you can construct everything. You can construct the entire, almost the entire world is made up of the consequences of DNA. CRISPR is one of those gifts from nature, and it works in essentially every cell, every organism on the planet. The key to this process is a tiny protein found in bacteria, which has the ability to read DNA and alter it like a tiny pair of molecular scissors. And it scans randomly. It doesn't come in like a guided missile uh, to exactly the right place. It literally goes through all six billion base pairs until it finds the right one. And we can program the recognition element in the computer to avoid the genome we don't want to touch and only hit the one that we want to touch. It's mostly good at knocking genes out, but we can do it very precisely. We can say, I want to knock out this gene and none of the other genes. We're seeing some clinical applications already, uh, most notably in helping the immune cells that can attack cancers. There's some additional ones on blood diseases like sickle cell anemia and thalassemia. Dr. Church believes that gene editing could also transform the field of dentistry by allowing us to grow lifelong perfect teeth, stronger and more resistant to disease and decay. The way it might be administered is you might get an intravenous injection, let's say to the gums of a child before the first teeth sprout, and the CRISPR-edited stem cell could be better than your normal teeth.